Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel. Let's solve another lead code question, shall we? So I was looking at this one and I'm hoping uh, there is nothing concerning the... What is it? Well, I was thinking actually about the Roman numeral, so I guess there will be nothing like that. Um, so, A24, Gold Latin, <laughs> interesting name. A sentence as, uh, yes, okay, is given, composed of words separated by spaces. All right. Each word consists of lowercase and uppercase letters only. So, okay. So either lowercase or uppercase, right? Nothing else. Um, they mean letters. Um, we would like to convert the sentence to Gold Latin, a made-up language similar similar to Pig Latin. Okay, the rules of Gold Latin are as follows: If a word begins with a vowel, a e i o or u, append ma at the end of the word. All right. For example, the word apple <laughs> becomes apple ma. <laughs> okay. If a word begins with a consonant i.e. not a vowel, remove the first letter and append it at the end, then add ma. What? For example, the word goat, we take the first letter, we append it to the end, so it's oat and then ma. Okay. Add one letter a to the end of each word per its word index in the sentence, starting at one. So basically the first word will, will get one A at the end, right? For example, the first word gets A added to the end, the second word gets AA added to the end and so on. Return the final sentence <laughs> representing the conversion from S or from a sentence to Gold Latin. That sounds pretty interesting. So the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog or wait, I speak Gold Latin would be what I'm a Pigs ma, odg ma, ating <laughs> All right. I, the, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Het ma, quick ma, brum brum. That's a lot. Anyway, uh, let's see our constraints. I would have assumed they could have made it sound a bit funnier, but maybe I'm kind of botching the <laughs> the pronunciation. <laughs> S contains all uppercase, lowercase, and spaces. That's that's good to know. Uh, exactly one space between each word, and the length of uh, the sentence is between one and one hundred fifty characters. Also good. So first things first. Of course, we would separate each of the words because we are working uh, on yeah, basically on separate words. So we'll just get an array that would be splitting s on a space and this would give us all the words now we want to see so for words in words we want to see that if word was it the the first case of a word um basically the first letter the first character is in uh, a list that contains a and i'll also use this so it uh, contains A, E, I, O, oops, or U. So this is kind of standard stuff here. If word one, a uh, zero, basically the very first character is any of those, is basically what this is. Um, we could say, and I'm assuming I can. Uh, oh, let's word and index. Uh, and we're enumerating over the words just because we want to change the word and save it uh, again, right? So we know if this is the case, what we'll be doing is we will be appending ma at the end so basically uh, words at the index that we're looking at 
for this particular case, we will be doing the word and uh, we'll be joining ma to it. <laughs> so uh, I think this is the only thing for now, right? As it uh, I ma and then at the end we'll have a loop that will do this uh, these things for us. How is it? Two and then three and so on. For now we're just doing the first two rows. Uh, else the word at the beginning is not so, and we could do in and then just put everything else but I mean you can kind of see why um, this is not not the more the, the easiest path so at least here we'll be comparing with only like two four five and I forgot the, the uppercase ones and we will add them right now it is easier to just work on the vowels because now we can basically just negate negate this operation and we're still working on a very small set uh, by comparison and the, com uh, the, the alternative would be to basically get all, all the you know all the consonants etc et I didn't know that Y is not a vowel anyway, and etc. And that would be way longer. So this is the second case. And what do we do with the second case? We take the very first one. So basically we do words on the index and we basically say that we will have word and um, we will be starting at the very first index and everything else and then we will be joining the very first thing in the word basically just putting it from the start to the end like this and then the whole thing we will again join to a ma right and actually now that I think about this, we could be doing this easier, I guess. Uh, yeah, we could be doing this way, way easier. And how we will be doing this? We will be doing only the first part, uh, only this part. And you will see what I mean. So if the word like this like this so if the word is not in that so basically we're just jumping here we will be uh, taking this first character we'll be putting it uh, on the on the back of this word and then in any of the other cases we are doing the ma in the end right we are doing it for for the vowels we are doing it for the consonants so we can basically guarantee this is happening anyway and I will even ah uh, I I would have normally commented that but I don't think it's a it's a good uh, thing to comment pointlessly so this is something that you should definitely read uh, I suggest the book uh, Clean Code there's a lot of stuff that is useful when it comes to programming and this is uh, one of the things that's also pretty interesting how to deal with comments uh, people I think when they start programming they kind of go bonkers on the comments and uh, it's a common mistake from what I've read and it kind of makes sense once you start programming uh, a lot and having to deal with a lot of uh, refactoring and scaling and stuff like that so and this is just a kind of like a side suggestion for you guys I think it's very useful how did we do this now we basically went through uh, the case where we are looking at consonants we swap we, we swap the the character right we're doing everything from the first index until the end and then we're joining the very first one on the very end okay and then we are doing the same thing again um how is it i would basically do this because i'm not uh word is no longer <laughs> no longer the same thing as so what we get here right so basically we already swapped this one and they, they don't no longer correspond from what I understand. So we are, we are updating on what we already updated once. So um, 
the only thing left is basically having um how can we do this let me quickly check if we can do something like can we have something like this in pipe i know in some way yeah <laughs> and i see here yes so um what we do at, at the end is words again on the index would be the same word that we already updated with swapping here in that case and at the end appending ma and now the only thing left is to have an array of a's and it will be uh, to repeat everything in accordance to the index plus one because our index would start at zero so we want to have it started starting at one right and this is all this should be the whole thing and of course we want to return it as a sentence from what i understand so this would be hmm, how can we pack this into a hmm, let's see out would be an empty array but it's actually we want it as a string right um, that's that's interesting i'm gonna google this very quickly okay uh a quick googling actually yeah that's a very similar approach that we've seen before before we could basically join everything into a list like this right uh and in this case we only need to do this so basically we're joining but we are also putting a uh, empty element between all the other elements that we're joining and in this case like i said we're joining a whole list so this would yield us um yeah basically joining of all the elements with a um space between each of those so let's quickly try and see how it looks like maybe there'll be some debugging needed i'm not sure um oh it's a uh, S uppercase hmm. um, int object is not subscriptable was the index the very first one uh, probably right in enumerating that's why it's telling me it's an int object otherwise uh, other uh, although it should have been a, you know, a string so what do we get here for our input I speak gold Latin we should have gotten well we are getting something way different okay um i will have to check on what's happening so let's quickly debug our program by starting with something small and seeing how how it um how our issue progresses with runtime so um i will be printing words although i kind of know actually i'll do i speak right so let's print the words uh other than that we will be printing exactly so we get i and speak right uh here we will be getting what the word is um, and at the end i want to also print the words at index so i want to see how we change that here uh, it should have only changed for the second case and not for the first one so as we can see we again have the list we have the speak and here we see our first problem why is this uh, the case not sure we are getting just the s 
um, which should not have happened. Let's print word like this. I'm pretty sure this should have given me everything from that uh, string, right? Yeah, they should give me peak. So peak joining the S on the on the back side. Wow. Um, now that's something very weird for me, and that's why I will I want to print it. I, I, I want to print the full statement. Yeah, that's so weird. What would have happened if I was just joining S, you know, like what, what we are expecting. So there is something wrong. What? Um, maybe the join operation is not the, the best thing that we should have done here. Yeah, hmm. that is so, so weird. So I guess the join operator is not something that I, I want to be doing here. I wanted to do something like this. And it's probably why our whole algorithm was uh, getting messed up. So not only here, um, I want to also do here and here as well. Uh, actually, in this case, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I, I will definitely have to still do something like this and then I will need to convert our list here um, to a string. So we're still going to have a list of A's here. We're converting it to a string and then joining it at the end. And then this should work uh, as we expected it to work. So let's see. And now it is exactly what we wanted. So the only issue here was me expecting that the join operator would work. Um, yeah, would, would work as, as a string joiner uh, operator. And I guess it's not, not the case. I, I guess it works on, on lists or something like that. I will have to Google quickly afterwards. And this is something for you guys as well to, to Google. Uh, we know that our sentence will never be empty. So I guess after trying this case, there is nothing else that we need to be doing. Our code, oops, uh, definitely looks optimal in a sense. I mean, we could uh, shorten everything. Like we could shorten these operations into a single operation, but I think it makes more sense readability wise to kind of see what are the steps that we're doing. So this would be my solution. Um, it's a success. Let's quickly talk about runtime. What are we doing? We are um, splitting all the, the words. So this is once going over the whole thing, I, I'm assuming. Um, we, we would call it complexity n in the size of, uh, of our input sentence. And then for each of the words, which would mean something less than n, uh we'll be doing three operations right and this one i, I would still say that it's a single operation uh although probably not <laughs> the join operation is probably not but um we are getting something less than n in this uh, loop and for the join we'll be getting something that that goes all the way up to uh, 150 was it uh, 150 different oh that's even the length so less than it, it, it is a, a fixed size um, in this case at least a fixed size uh, of operations that will be going here and for the join at the end again we are bound to how many words we have here again a fixed size like even even this uh, loop would be a fixed size in the in the length of the yeah some, something less than the length of the input um, sentence so i would say at least given these criteria here we're getting something like n plus uh, something less than n um, 
in size of um, yeah in terms of runtime complexity in terms of space complexity i mean yeah we have an array and we are always updating in that array and the array contains just as many characters as the original sentence so we're getting like two times the the length of the um, the original sentence plus some overhead here but basically just just the length of the sentence uh, the sentence itself is the the official um, space space complexity so yeah i think that was it it's a pretty easy question and it, you, you can see that even if it's an easy question you can still get it wrong right <laughs> uh, anyway that was it from me i hope you liked it i hope you learned something and see you next time bye bye